Hi there, and welcome to Insano's Games. Small list of some quality of life things that you can pick up directly inside WoW without having to spend uh, any money on, say, Amazon or something like that to get one of those old cards that has a special item on it. Pretty much everything on my list can be a can be acquired in game uh, without uh, any special event having going on or something. Um. One of the first things on my list, I'll actually just leap right off Dalaran and show ya. Presuming I don't hit a rock. <laughs> Alright, number one on the list. Obviously, uh, very handy, says I'm moving silt, is the Water Strider mount. As, well, as you can tell, you can run around on water. What's not handy about that? Uh, this one you could pick up by having Angler's Rep, if I recall. I think Exalted in Pandaria. <clears throat> Very handy for me. I keep it on my bars. I try not to use it as my go-to mount for everything, just whenever I gotta cross a large body of water. Uh, on that note as well, Angler's Rep also gives you the Fishing Raft toy. Of course, I'm on a mount and I can't use it. There we go. So this will allow you to just move across water and uh, fish from it at the same time. I'm going to die from fatigue. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, if I want to go fishing, I can. But at the same time, you can move faster, pretty much up to mounted speed. If you, uh, I'll just put it on my movement speed here. As long as you're jumping while rafting, you can start getting up to a pretty decent speed. You can hit 270 for a very short while there, so... It tends to drop fairly rapidly if you stop jumping. But, as long as you're jumping, you can keep up a pretty good pace. Get around to a fishing, fishing hole or something, one of those special ones. And, uh, while I'm at it, out here... Looking at uh, water-related stuff, I should get to my mounts. Right here. Put that on my bars. The Fathom Dweller. Well, for some reason that mount dismounted me. Underwater Squid Mount. And my speed without it. So, 67%, 135, doubles it for you. This is from a uh, world quest in Legion, but uh, it's not exactly the a straightforward world quest or one that you can just find at any given time. You have to take the prerequisite steps in order to get it. Um... Where you actually get it is down here in the Eye of Ajara. There will be a world quest to kill a world boss right here called Kazumoth the Hungerer, I think, or Hungering, something like that. But there's a whole runaround thing around the Broken Isles. Um, at a certain point, you'll be able to talk to somebody right around here and look up a guide on Wowhead, and you'll end up having to go all around the Broken Isles and finding these hidden locations with these glowing purple orbs. And if you click them in the correct order, one at a time, and head and eventually head back to this guy, and yada yada yada, you'll eventually unlock a world quest that will be here. And I think his loot changes. There's, I think, three things that he drops. But I think the first time you go to kill him, he'll drop the mount. I could be wrong, maybe I lucked out and I just happened to be on the correct uh, loot for the week. But, go look it up on uh, Wowhead or something if you're really interested in a nice underwater mount that you might not own already if you don't have the, the skate or whatever mount and other similar ones. Look up uh, the Fathom Dweller. It's a pretty decent one. I'll just... Uh well, I don't feel like flying all the way back up the Dalaran. 
Skyfire triage. Eh, never mind. Guess I will fly up the Dalaran. Well, another quality of life thing would be zone-specific toys. Um, what I mean by that... Let's see here... No, not look like a tree. I'll type in... Um, ever... No. Blooming Frond. Restores 15% of your health and mana every one second for six seconds anywhere in Draenor. Which can really, really come in handy, actually, if you're just wanting to heal up in a hurry out there. Other similar ones are another Draenor one, uh, the Tasty Telador Lunch, where you can uh, heal up and uh, regain mana pretty, pretty quickly, actually, out there. There's all sorts of zone-specific ones. Um, here in uh, Legion... Before the uh, flight was unlocked, the Emerald Winds uh, toy was a pretty decent one. As you, it could, if you had a glider along with this, you could essentially fly absolutely anywhere throughout the Broken Isles. On that note, one last thing while I'm on this character. Um, if you have some pretty slow load times in the game... Uh, aside from turning down a little bit of your graphics settings, there is a command you can type in. Uh, there's also one that you can directly put into an INI file. But uh, if you type this in, as I have it here on the screen, it'll set it so your game will... Uh, oh, Of course, I uh, didn't account for the space. There we go. That will make it so your game will load a little bit faster. I haven't tested it too much, but I did notice a little bit of a difference. Where, um... Just little things around the world, little things like chairs and stools and whatnot, will not load in. Uh, it won't designate them to load first before it allows your character into the game. So it will improve your load time. My previous load time was, uh, for this character coming into Dalaran was almost 10 seconds. That was quite the improvement, actually, there. Well, while I'm at it, again on this character... Where are we? This is another quality of life item, Jeeves. For a non-engineer, I believe it just allows them to repair and sell, which is in itself uh, the main use of this item. But it also, for the engineer himself, will allow access to their bank. This, I believe, was acquired from Northrend uh, Engineering. Let's see. Yeah, Northrend Engineering. This, I believe, started from a schematic that you could get from a, a Mechano Gnome in not Ice Crown, but the zone to the east of it. Uh, whatever that mountain was called. Storm Peaks. And at the same time, I believe that also Molly was North End, which is your portable mailbox. Yeah, Northrend Engineering. That one could be acquired up there as well, and it comes in handy to have, on a pretty decent cooldown, though, uh, an hour. But you could check your mail in it and uh, sell and repair at any given time you want. If you uh, really want to send out a lot of mail every now and again, what you could do is get... Uh, what am I looking for? This particular item. Katie's Stamp Whistle. It's a uh, three hour cooldown, and anyone can use it as well. 
You summon your own uh, post office assistant. Nice to meet you. That is acquired here in the Legion version of Dalaran. Uh, there's in front of some of the mailboxes. Let's see here. Yeah. In front of the mailboxes, selected at, I think, at random, you'll sometimes find a little envelope on the ground called Lost Mail. And if you pick, snatch it up quick enough, it'll uh, have an item in it which once, once used... Uh, binds to you and starts a quest to become a postmaster, which will grant you the postmaster title, Katie's stamp whistle, and a new pet, the male elemental. Viewed right here. The item is bind uh, on use, not on equip, or um. Or buying on pickup, so you can buy it in the auction hall. I believe it was called Lost Mail. So if you really, really want to pick up a new title, a pet, and just have the ability to summon a mailbox, it really comes in handy. Another, I'll turn off my flying mount. The noise is bugging me. <laughs> Another uh, item in the toy box, set of items actually. Let's see here. I'm not too far away. You can find these items which will automatically learn a good chunk of the flight points in Eastern Kingdoms and Kalimdor. That's one of the Horde ones. Here, I may already know all the flight paths, but I'll click it and find out. Yeah, I do know them. And uh, that one was for... Yeah, Eastern Kingdoms. So... Oh, well, that's the other Horde one. But you get the point. That will uh, basically learn a good chunk of the flight paths, and it comes in handy for a brand new character. Uh, don't remember exactly where the other one is. I might have passed it over. Um, that can be acquired. I believe it's part of an... Uh, not part of an achievement, perhaps, but uh, once you've purchased enough heirlooms, I think you can just straight up buy that from uh, the heirloom vendor. I was thinking of the Heirloom Mount one there. But I do believe it is sold from the Heirloom Vendor. Just look up uh, one of those items that I had linked before. That I had hovered over. And you'll automatically have a good chunk of the flight paths available. Another uh, couple of quality life things that you can use. Uh, anything that kind of grants you a cooking fire. This one was acquired in Argus. I just like using it because it's unique looking compared to a regular campfire. But at the same time, you can just summon some pets. Such as Pierre. And uh, he doubles as a cooking fire. This one I believe was from Pandaria. I think the recipe was on, maybe on that last um, island that they added. Can't quite remember. Another, uh, another one that counts as a cooking fire is Little Ragnaros, I believe. But yeah, you can uh, always uh, double up some of these pets as other items like the cooking fire, so it really comes in handy. Well, I think that's about all I was really going to show you guys. Just a few quality of life things. Um, aside from, yeah, one final thing. If you don't have one of these two mounts, go and pick one up. They're not that expensive anymore with the influx of gold that people got in Legion. The Traveler's Tundra Mammoth, purchased right here in Dalaran. I think both versions of Dalaran sell it. Good day to you. Yeah. 
Only about 19,000 gold. I think it's 20,000 uh, before some discounts. And with this one, you have a repair vendor and just a basic vendor. With uh, food and drink from the expansion from Northrend. And the other one... Where are we? Right here. The Grand Expedition Yak. Quite expensive compared to the Traveler's Tundra Mammoth. But this one not just comes with a repair vendor, but also comes with a portable transmogrifier. If you're, uh, you know, really wanting that perfect look. Alright, I think that's all I'll uh, demonstrate for today. Just a few quality of life things that can really improve your game. And then make it so you have less downtime and more time out in the field having fun questing. Until next time, guys, take care, and please, it would help me out quite a bit if you'd drop a subscribe. Until next time, take her easy. Bye.